If you've been online lately, you've probably noticed, well, two things. One, it's Kiana's world and we're all just living in it. <laughs> and two, everyone has been posting about Sudan. People around the world are using Instagram to raise awareness about the recent violence in Sudan. There's been a wave of postings using the hashtag Blue for Sudan. Actor and activist George Clooney is using his celebrity to draw attention to the ongoing political and humanitarian crisis in Sudan. U.S. celebrities, including Rihanna, Nick Jonas, and Bella Hadid, are using their social media platforms to raise awareness. Yeah, this is amazing. People are using social media to raise awareness about the crisis in Sudan. And honestly, I never thought I'd see the day where a thirst trap would be used for a noble cause. Yeah. <laughs> No, because usually on Instagram, it's just like, look at my ass, now buy tummy tea. <laughs> but now it's like, look at my ass and pray for Sadat. <laughs> and you may be wondering, what is happening that's causing a crisis in Sudan? Well, we figured let's uh, get into it in another installment of If You Don't Know, Now You Know. To understand what's going on in Sudan right now, you have to go back 30 years, when Sudan got something that almost always guarantees oppression and unrest, a dictator. Omar al-Bashir came to power in a military coup in 1989 and survived for 30 years through cunning and brutality. In southern Sudan and Darfur, his militias scorched earth and massacred his enemies. Hundreds of thousands died and suffered from famine. He was indicted for war crimes, crimes against humanity and genocide. Since 1989, 75-year-old Omar al-Bashir forcibly united Sudan by waging wars while wearing a smile. You know, the only thing worse than a dictator is a smiling dictator. <laughs> yeah, because now you're a maniac with a creepy-ass grin. <laughs> like, we all know how terrifying Hitler looks. Now imagine if he was smiling. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't look at that. Take that shit down. Take that shit down. <laughs> so for 30 years, Omar al-Bashir ruled over Sudan with an iron fist. And there were many failed attempts to overthrow him. But it turns out the secret ingredient to a successful revolt was bread. The protests began in December 2018 in the city of Agbara. The sudden tripling of the cost of bread sparked the initial protests, but they quickly turned into anti-government rallies, calling for the resignation of al-Bashir. After 30 years in power, President Omar al-Bashir has been forced out of power by the country's military. The army has dissolved the government and declared a state of emergency. That's right. After 30 years in power, this dictatorship ended because people didn't have bread which must be really confusing to people in California. Yeah, because they start riots if you give them bread. <laughs> like, this doesn't have carbs, right? Because if it does, I will burn this <laughs> store to the ground! <laughs> so, two months ago, the people of Sudan finally got rid of their dictator, and you could tell that it was a big deal because people were cheering online, celebrating in town squares, and even partying in the streets. I mean, just look at that joy, huh? People were dancing in the traffic. It's like an African La La Land. <laughs> but just like La La Land's joy at the Oscars, the people of Sudan's victory were short-lived. Sudan's defense minister said the military is suspending the constitution and will take charge of the country for the next two years. One week after they deposed a dictator, Sudanese demonstrators are still on the streets. They, too, want to replace a military-led regime they consider corrupt with a civilian-led government. That is such a horrible and unfortunate twist. The military helped the people depose the dictator, and then they decided to take his place. Yeah, which is a classic Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Gollum works with the good guys to get rid of the ring, and at the end, when he sees an opening, he's like, my precious! <laughs> so, now you know the basics of what happened. The people of Sudan got rid of their dictator of 30 years, and now, right now, they're fighting the military general who wants to be their dictator for the next 30 years. And you may be wondering, yeah, but Trevor, how are celebrities gonna help, huh? Is the general gonna check Twitter and be like, oh, no, Rihanna blocked me, I'll step down? <laughs> well, maybe not, maybe not. But already the awareness campaign is bearing fruit. The U.S. is sending a special envoy to Sudan, and the African Union has suspended Sudan until the military gives power back to the people. Yeah. And it's not just up to celebrities to shine a light on this. Any American can help. You can call your congressperson, and you can urge them to keep the pressure on Sudan. You can actually make a difference, which is especially important today because it's World Refugee Day. 
Because while not everyone may agree on what to do with refugees, I think we can all agree that no one should have to become one in the first place.